Hi everyone! Welcome to my English Kids Library. It's a splendid sunny morning today, and I'm gonna read you a book about a very lazy ladybird. I hope you are not so lazy as this little bug, but this book has a great final, so let's read. Okay, The L Very Lazy Ladybird by Isabel Finn and Jack Tickle. You can see here a very beautiful picture, red with black spots. How do you think? Whose back is it? For Andrea and Claudia, I F. For mom and dad, who helped? J T. The message from the authors. This is the story of a very lazy ladybird. She liked to sleep all day. And all night and because she slept all day and all night this lazy ladybird didn't know how to fly one day the lazy ladybird wanted to sleep somewhere else but what could she do if she couldn't fly then the lazy ladybird had a very good idea when a kangaroo bounded by she hopped into her pouch, but the kangaroo liked to jump. Jump, jump! I can't sleep in here, cried the lazy ladybird. It's far too bumpy. So when a tiger padded by, she hopped onto his back. But the tiger liked to roar. I can't sleep here said the lazy ladybird. It's far too noisy. So when a crocodile swam by, she hopped onto his tail. But the crocodile liked to swish his tail in the water. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. I'll fall into the river. So when a monkey swung by, she hopped under her head. But the monkey liked to swing from branch to branch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. I'm feeling dizzy. So, when a bear ambled by, she hopped onto his ear. Can you see the ladybird? Here she is. But the bear like to scratch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. He'll never sit still. So, when a tortoise plodded by, she hopped onto her shell. But the tortoise liked to snooze in the sun. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. It's far too hot. So, when an elephant trundled by, she hopped onto his trunk. At last, thought the lazy ladybird, I found someone who doesn't jump or roar or swish his tail or swing or scratch or snooze. But at that very moment, The elephant sneezed <laughs> and poor old lazy ladybird had to fly at last. <sighs> the end. Thank you for listening and watching and see you next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye.